as we women have taken ownership of this space and lead it very well, might I toot the proverbial horn. Yes, yes. I'll say it again, trust black women. Yes. Not only are we fearless in our power moves within the city, county, and state, but we show up and show out for families who seek answers for state-sanctioned violence against their loved ones in this community. We matter-of-factly tell elected officials and law enforcement when they are not doing their job and or are taking advantage of our people, our communities, and our tax dollars, especially when it comes to marginalization, over-policing, and disenfranchisement. And yes, we do house calls. You better ask Scott Jones. You better ask Steve Hansen. We have been here for the culture vultures of this town. Not today, Becky and Tom. No white splaining and profiting off of us. We have stood outside of jails awaiting the release of our comrades. We offer court support to those who are in need. We, your Black Lives Matter, your Black Lives Matter chapter, your Black Lives Matter chapter stood up for each and every one of you whether you know it or not whether you like our tactics or not our work by this mighty force of black women just does just that and so much more for all of you and with love might I say since we've been a chapter October 2015 we fight so we can live and their names are Adrian Ludd, Dejan Sunone, Patricia Hill, Joseph Mann, Jason King, Xavier Yamakosi, Armani Lee, Lorenzo Cruz, Desmond Phillips, Nandi Kane, Ryan Ellis, Michael McIntyre, James Nelson, Zatira Abrahams, Stefan Clark, and as of three days ago, Brandon Smith. And we want justice for them all. So if you don't know, now you know. Now you have no excuses to ignore the necessity of calls to action when oppression and racism and sexism and homophobia and ableism and every other ism keeps fractions of our community and our family from being free. Our lane might be black liberation, but it is what it is not limited to when the cops kill us and they murder us. When our neighborhoods get gentrified and anti-blackness is permeated, when a DA puts up a fence that's a proverbial middle finger to us all. When our children go to school and get kid kicked out of their own graduation for wearing kente stoves. Or they have to deal with the likes of a confederate flag. When the media is anti-black and decides to tell the story of murdering cops and tell instead of victims and activist stories. When the power structures that be here in Sacramento hire black police chiefs and call it diversity. When in actuality it perpetuates the fact that racism still has a stronghold on every move we make. When the likes of a Serena William can almost die during and after childbirth and her doctors not do anything to save her life. When a mother like myself of six beautiful black boys have to remind them that they are not like their peers and we got a different set of game rules. This, my friend, is what black liberation includes but is not limited to. It is also an understanding from those who are here as allies to collaborate at crucial intersections and stand in solidarity with and for black lives and for the need of black liberation. Our black lives are worth more than white comfort. Our black lives are worth more than white comfort. So don't call the police on black folks for doing anything that is not your business. How about not call the police at all? So before I wrap up, I've had to shout a few important women that I know. Sequita Thompson, Yolanda Banks-Reed, and Wanda Johnson, and so many other mothers, for it is through their pain and losing their sons and grandson at the hands of police that we are vigilant and unapologetic about the state of black lives in this city. If you are here to support a black woman who has made a way out of no way, a black woman who has magically created space for all of us to be welcome in our difference, yes, a black woman. 
I am, and I can live. Since we are here, every, we, since we are everything to everybody, we need you to be there for us. So repeat after me the words of Fannie Lou Hamer. I will not compromise. I will not comply. I will not submit. I will not bow. because black women's lives matter. We built this. Yeah. On our backs and on our breasts. Never let this world regulate or box our brilliance or keep it tamed in a corner for their entertainment only. We are here, we are there, we are everywhere. And we make a difference in this world just by the mere fact that we are here today. We will not be moved into inaction, not even after Tuesday's election, not ever. The terror on our living is real, but we can live. So in the spirit of Black Lives Sacramento, Black Lives! In the words of Ch Shirley Chisholm and Marion Wright Edelman, who said, Service is the rent we pay for being. That's what I do. It is the very purpose of our lives in order to live. And it's not something you do in your spare time. Thank you. Real quick, and repeat after me, say, it is our duty to fight. It is our duty to fight. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love and protect one another. We must love and protect one another. 